Dear grade 11 students, hello and welcome to English. Today's lesson is reading part 2, module 4b, Ocean Pollution. Please open your student's book, pages 58 and 59, and let's get down to work. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to deduce the meaning of eight highlighted words from the context, categorize linking words according to their functions, and finally, determine the appropriate outline used by the writer of the text. Let's start our lesson with this activity. In this activity, you are going to match these words in the box with the pictures they correspond to. Pause the video, read the words, look at the pictures carefully, and match them. Have you finished? Thank you. Let's start with the first picture or definition in a way that is great or sudden. When something happens in a way that is great or sudden, it happens how? Dramatically. Thank you. Look at the second picture. How can you describe the place? Something destructive happens he, excellent look at the third one results of something who can tell excellent consequence look at this picture what are the people doing they are having fun they are playing so this is called recreation excellent recreational activities look at this picture can you read? Take action. Take action. So, take actions means take measures. Thank you. Look at this picture. What is going on? They are digging for something valuable like coal or something like that. And this is called what? Excellent mining. When something happens very often, how it happens? Right, thank you, frequently. And let's move to the last one. Look. Now, they are throwing something into the river, and this is called dump. Thank you. Exercise D. In this exercise, you are going to go back to the text and look at the highlighted words. Read them in context and then match these words with their definitions or their meanings A to H. Please go back to the text and try to find out the meaning of these words. Note, you have to use text clues. They may help you deduce the meaning. Thank you very much. Pause the video and find out the meaning of these words. Now let's check our answers. And the first word is excellent recreation. Have you found it in the text? Okay, let's read the sentence. Our oceans and seas are very valuable to us and we rely heavily on them for food, air, natural resources, transport and recreation. So we depend on our oceans for all these things. And one of these things is recreation. What is meant by recreation? Who can tell? Excellent. B. So let's read the definition. Recreation means leisure activities or leisure activities. The word number two is dump. When you dump something, you throw something specially toxic into rivers or something like this. So let's read the sentence. To begin with, one of the main causes of ocean and sea pollution is rubbish. Rubbish can be dumped by boats. What can rubbish be dumped by? Boats and chips in open waters carried from land by strong winds. So we understand that dumped something or a waste that is thrown into a river or into the water. So it goes with. J. And let's read the definition. 
The definition is to throw something away quickly and carelessly. Let's move to word number three, frequently. When something happens frequently, how it happens. Let's read and find out. You found the answer. Thank you, excellent. Physical danger. Marine animals are frequently injured or killed when they become coat in plastic objects. So when, when marine animals are coat in plastic objects, how are they killed or injured? They are killed or injured frequently, which means very often. Excellent. It goes with who can tell? Yes, right. It goes with D. So frequently means very often. Thank you. Number four. Destructive. Did you find it? Good. Let's read. Crude oil is extremely difficult to clean up. And because it is highly toxic. How is it? Highly toxic. Poisonous. It has a destructive effect on marine life. What kind of effect does it have on marine life? A destructive effect. So, destructive something negative. It goes with, who can tell? Yes, right, with H. Let's read the definition. And the definition for the word destructive, it's an adjective causing harm, injury, or damage. Let's move to number five and mining. You remember the picture in the previous activity? Thank you. Let's read it from the context. Noise pollution comes not only from ship and boat traffic, but also from human activities such as underwater drilling and mining for natural resource, resources and the building of bridges. So, where did noise pollution come from? Not only from ships or boat traffic, but from where? Underwater drilling and mining. So what mining is? Excellent. It goes with A. And let's read the definition. Mining means the activity of digging in the ground to remove valuable minerals. Let's move to number six. And the word consequence. The consequence of something. You remember the word result? Yes. So let's read it from the context. And let's read the previous sentence. Noise pollution comes not only from ship, at, from ship and boat traffic, but also from human activities, such as underwater drilling and mining for natural resources and the building of the bridges. What do these things have? Yes, it has a very serious consequences. For what? For marine life. And the first consequence is that small fish and crustaceans cannot survive in a noisy environment. This is the consequence of these things. So it goes with C. Let's read C or the definition is the effect or result of a situation often negative. Thank you. Number seven, and the word dramatically. When something happens dramatically, how it happens? Let's read and find out. As a result, their numbers decrease dramatically when there is an increase in noise levels in their habitats. So, how does the num or how do numbers decrease? They decrease dramatically. So, dramatically goes with who can tell? Yes, with F, thank you. And let's read the definition. When something happens dramatically, it happens in a way that is sudden, obvious, or surprising. Let's move to number eight and the word measure. And let's read it from the text. In conclusion, there are many causes of ocean pollution and they are clearly having a devastating effect on marine life. It is evident that we do not take measures. We do not take excellent actions. So it goes with E. And let's read the definition 
measure, an official action or a step that you take to deal with a situation. Thank you very much. Let's move to exercise E. In this exercise, you are going to go back to the text and underline words or phrases in the text, then place them in the correct category of linking words. They are all linking words, so we have to categorize them according to their functions. Please pause the video and find these phrases or words. Thank you. Let's start with the first one. What is the function? Listing points. What can we add here and here? We have firstly, in the first place, excellent to begin with and first of all, what is the function? Is to list points. Let's move to the second one. Did you find them? Adding points. We can use furthermore. So what the writer what did the writer or what does the writer use? To add points. Excellent. He used moreover and also in addition. Thank you. What about giving examples? What, the, what has the writer used to give examples? Excellent. He has used in particular for instance and such as. And now, contrasting, contrasting ideas, the opposite. On the other hand, and what? What did he use? You find it? Excellent. He used however, and, and who can tell? He used although. Thank you. Now, what has the writer used to express result or a consequence of something? You remember the word consequence, the result of something. Right, thank you, he used as a result and the word thus. And finally, summing up the conclusion. To sum up, and he used in the text, what, did, what has the writer used in the text? He used the phrase in conclusion. Thank you. Okay, in this exercise, you are going to read the essay again and do the, these activities. The first activity is to choose the outline the writer uses in his, in his or her essay. So when I say outline, I mean the plan or the ideas in a separate paragraphs. Did he use the outline number one and look at outline number two? In outline number one, he used the first paragraph was the introduction. In the second paragraph, causes, cause number one, two, and three. Then he mentioned the effects in a separate paragraph, and then he mentions the conclusion. Or the introduction, cause number one, and its effects, cause number two, and its effects in a separate paragraph, cause number three, and its effects and then the conclusion. Let's read this paragraph and find out. Look at the first paragraph. To begin with, one of the main what causes, and here we can fi find the causes. So in the same paragraph, he mention or he mentions the cause and its effects. This is the cause, right? And where is the effect? Let's, let's complete. The most immediate effect of this rubbish is that so and so and so. So here is the cause and the effects in the same paragraph. So what outline the writer uses? He uses outline two. Question number two. Find the rhetorical question. When I say rhetorical question, means a question doesn't require an answer. So the answer is implied. Find the rhetorical question in the, the writer uses in his or her essay. 
please pause the video and find out the answer. Did you find it? Good. What is the question? How much time do we think we have before one of our most valuable resources here on Earth is lost? Does it need an answer? No, it doesn't. So, what is the purpose does this question serve? Thank you. Rhetorical questions are used to make a point, draw the reader's attention to something important and make him or her think. Thank you. Dear students, thank you for watching the video. Wish you a good luck.